This video shows you how to replace the belts for the motor and arbor for the industrial cabinet saw. Take care to use official saw stop belts only. The belts dissipate static and are specially designed to work with the saw stop safety system. Turn off the saw and remove the lockout key. Turn the disconnect switch to off. First, remove the motor belt, which is located behind the belt access door. For more working space, remove the door. Remove the hinge pin and lift the door out. Remove the blade. Lower the arbor to the lower elevation limit. Set the tilt to 45 degrees. Open the motor cover. Remove the dust collection hose. Loosen the nut for the motor positioning bolt. Loosen the nut for the motor mount. Set tilt to approximately 15 degrees. Return to the belt side of the machine. Pull the motor belt to lift the motor and relieve tension on the belt. Remove the motor belt. With the motor belt out of the way, the next step is to remove the arbor belt. Because the arbor belt is more difficult to remove, and because you are replacing the belt, cut the belt. Place the new arbor belt behind the double pulley. Push the belt over the arbor pulley. The belt should now be fully behind both pulleys. Now pull the arbor belt towards you and move the arbor belt back and forth to walk the belt onto both pulleys, one or two ribs at a time, alternating between the pulleys. This will take some effort and patience. Take care not to pinch your fingers. Make sure the belt is correctly seated. All the grooves in the pulleys should be covered by all the ribs on the belt. Next, place a new motor belt on the pulleys. As with the arbor belt, make sure the belt covers all the grooves in the pulleys. Set the tilt to 45 degrees once again and return to the motor side of the saw. Insert a blade wrench or a small pry bar between the motor body and the elevation plate. Pull down to increase tension on the motor belt. Keep tension on the pry bar and then tighten the nut on the motor positioning bolt. You don't need to hold the bolt on the other end because the bolt is equipped with flat shoulders that fit into the adjustment slot on the motor mount. Check the belt tension. The belt should deflect no more than one half inch when you squeeze the belt. 
Or, the belt should give off a tone, rather than a dull thud, when you pluck the belt. Next, tighten the nut for the motor mount bolt. You might need to hold the bolt to keep it from turning. Reattach the dust collection hose. After approximately 8 hours of operation, check and adjust tension as needed for the motor belt. Tension for the arbor belt is set automatically. You have learned how to replace the belts for the industrial cabinet saw. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, contact Sawstop Service.